excited. But before that, shout out to B Side. Thanks for having this uh, event possible, uh, happening here in New York Joint. And of course, uh, SSO Clothing. Shout out to Nick Automatic, Pure Evil. All right, here we go. We'll move on to the next battle. MC to my right, coming from QC. We'll give it up for Sin City. Now my landlord is knocking on my motherfucking door, yelling through the window that I see your ass in court. Trying to pay these bills, got me walking back and forth. Plus the fact I got a marijuana habit to support. What's up, man? Hi, fans. Sin City, what's up? MC to my left, coming from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We got Twizzy. <laughs> Block what you gon' do I'm in a class by myself Like I'm homeschooled See you while what's happening Kansas City what's poppin' Fuck a better pack a gap man Rest assured I'm robbin' We got new mixtape Joe Joe Two pop that shit Controversy Collective Stay safe Let's get the sale First round Sin City's on you Y'all hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. They say this English division is in critical condition. I could pull the plug or let it lip. See, these are major decisions. I waited till they thought I was no longer a threat. Cause after all this effort I put in, all I've got is neglect. See, I try to interact, but they lack the intellect. So if your friends got your back, then your friends could get it next. I say, Enigma, you must fucking hate me. I don't mean no disrespect. But after all these years, I've been begging for an international battle. And this is what I get? This is, this is who we let represent us at King of the Dot. So you claim to be some kind of hero, but really you're not. I've been in your position, I've walked in those shoes. You fly all the way out here like you got something to prove. But trust me, all that acting and loud rapping you do don't outlast the satisfaction that you get from the truth. I mean, besides, it's not like you're a popular dude. I've seen your King of the Dot battles. You have like 5,000 views. <laughs> 5,000 views? That shit is fucking weak. No, I mean literally, I get that many views in a week. So please, quit acting like you're some kind of King of the Dot star, because everyone from King of the Dot don't even know who you are. Ne oh. Yo, next time you in doubt, take the pacifist route. It's only right that I show them what the fuck we about. Fuck that. Matter of fact, I wish you would get loud. I treat him like Arwin Santos and choke him the fuck out. Oh. Hey, yo, you can call me Sin City. I'm a fucking drug addict, and I've been gone for one year, but I'm fucking back at it. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. First round, Twizzy. It's on you. Flipped up. Y'all ready? Can you hear me? This verse is called Sin City, aka the best battle rapper in the universe. Like that, like that. Sin claims he's the best at everything. No one here dares to doubt him. Like he said, this English conference wouldn't exist without him. He's used to using expressions like Iolo, Lego, Racks on Racks, and about that moolah. Claims he's responsible for bringing swag to the Philippines. <laughs> No, fuck that! Enigma, I don't prove myself against Chris. Now I want a classic, so I came here to win. But I asked you for someone nice, but now you insult me because you gave me the sin. Hold on. Let me say it again to show y'all lyrically I'm more capable than him. I said I asked for someone nice, now I'm salty because you gave me a sin. <laughs> Let's get it in. You beating me? You beating me? Delusional must be your last name. That's like saying Badang has the sexiest rap name. <laughs> You? Be me? Yeah, right, and against Skarm you blazed him a no T. You have a better chance seeing Bata shave in his goatee. You? Be me? That'd be the day Plasma raps about the clubs and how to dance. And the day 2Kel returns by popular demand because he got zero haters and he's loved by all the fans. I'm back, baby. Flip top is where I belong. But I ain't the type. Flip top is where I belong. But I ain't the type to. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Oh. Yo, I'm back, baby. Flip top is where I belong. But I ain't the type to dick ride the audience. Nah, I'm a proud assassin. Was well, you the type to use Jollibee in a punchline to get some cheap crowd reaction, right? Right? Shit is simple, generic, pathetic. I'm surprised your fan base so fucking large. Too bad most of them are what you call ungois, known to hang on to your monkey bars. Yo, bitch. I'm gangster with shit. Red dot to his face like the Japanese flag. Wiz Khalifa called to say, stop jacking his swag. I'll put him back in a bag. And your outfits might be colorful, but that's because you're a gay rapper, but your mentality is black and white like the movie that you're named after. It's only round one and you're getting cooked, my ninja. <laughs> Round two, Sin City, it's on you. See, I knew you were gonna. 
I knew you were gonna come and try and test me. But for the record, I never choked against Protege. I was doing my impression of Low Pesci. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Yo, no excuses, I choked real bad. Matter of fact, Protege, I wanted to thank you for that. Cause ever since my ass whipping, I see things in a new vision. I recalculated my formula into an accurate position. Changed my game plan again and again. What I'm trying to fucking say is I ain't the same old sin. And hey, you, you need to quit messaging me all the time like we're on the same fucking team. Like yo, sin. My battle with Chris Delano was something you should have seen. I was like, good shit, bro. Keep doing your thing. See, I respect anyone that tries to follow their own dreams. But when you replied, that means so much coming from you, LOL, smiley face. <laughs> what the fuck did you mean? I know those messages are from way back when, but if you keep sending me shit like that, I'm gonna have to delete you from my friends. You, you need to stop that. Your whole image is whack. You're a punk rock bitch who just learned how to rap. See, I usually don't battle anyone, but tonight I made the exception. Because I know how you emo kids get with all that built up aggression. So don't think of this as a battle. It's more like an intervention. Because how can you battle me while you still battle with depression? So go ahead, grab the weed, because I got me a swisher. There ain't no telling what I do when I mix it with liquor. See, I don't need Photoshop to take you out of that picture. You better pray to fucking God that the odds are with you. Because if you get disrespectful, my boys will come get you. They come out of the crowd one by one. You think a flash mob hit you? Tired, man. Tired. Right. All right, round two. Twizzy, let's go. Oh, sorry about that first letter. Huh? In all your battles, there's always that annoying bitch that won't shut up to your verses. Like, oh, oh, oh. Check it out. He's got his own lady to be his hype man or hype girl. Who cares? I just wish it's off with her head, dude. But it's cool because at least she's used to overreacting when Troy's in the bedroom. And true story, I asked him if he'd be down to make these rounds unlimited, but he refused. Thought you've been around for a minute, kid. What's wrong with rapping Limitless? I had to agree to a minute and a half since you want to get fucking so whiny. I know I'm still into snapbacks and pogs, but you're the one stuck in the 90s. Check it out. And word on the street is, you're Josh G's ghostwriter. That's pretty sick, yo. How much you charging him for those weak quotes and dick jokes? <laughs> So am I to understand when Josh G battled Skarm and he said, I quote, You come as fast as you double click like a magic trick. That was you? How about, how about when he said, When you rap, you sound like you've been circumcised since birth. That shit hurts. That was you? This is my favorite one. How about when he said, You got an interesting name, Skarm. It rhymes with sperm. <laughs> You, Josh, this guy's playing the most fucked up prank on you. What you gonna do, just take that? It's time for payback. You need to get revenge on this motherfucker ASAP. <laughs> and ain't nothing gully about sin. Lighting fireworks is what he means when he's always sparking. When he's talking trapping, he's at home, alone like Macaulay Culkin. Couldn't hang in the state, so we came here to play. But that choke against Protege got him wounded. Now, just to add all the salt in, he should be banned from the league for choking like Ronaldo Bulkman. And you can't act like you got robbed your last three when you stole your only three wins and they all ended up having to go OT? See, we Filipinos are known as hard workers and that's how I know you're not one because it's clear only slackers would need overtime to get the job done. Oh. Flip top, it's an honor to be part of this historic card and I appreciate y'all reaching out. But just wait till round three, there's some shit we gotta speak about. Oh. All right. See, a lot of people don't like me because I'm cocky as hell. But is it my fault I'm overconfident while you lack confidence in yourself? See, it's not the content, it's the concept. Try to understand. It may be complex, but my conscience is happy with who I am. See, me and you, we ain't that different. We sort of alike. Cut from the same cloth, you know, fighting the same fight. Except for the fact that you're corny and uptight, but it's cool, I understand. I mean, you're Canadian, right? So, so all you Canadians out here, don't believe the hype. This is a third world country. There ain't nothing nice. There's kids that will kill for a cup of rice. Fuck a movie. It's the Hunger Games of real life. You want it? You wanted someone top tier? Well, I did too. You got what you asked for, and I got played like a fool. <laughs> they fly out Pesci, Sharon, and Bender, the whole King of the Dot crew, all top tier contenders, and I get stuck with you? I said, I said top tier, what, I gotta make my shit clear? If you weren't from Cavite, you wouldn't even be here. See, the simple-minded don't get it. I got that abstract flow. I lost three in a row. It gave me room to grow. Your girlfriend has an Adam's apple. Make her look like a bro. She looks like, she looks like that tranny from Abra's Gayuma video. 
I know, I know. I didn't use a lot of personals against you. Because the truth is, I got nothing personal against you. Matter of fact, I like what you're doing. Keep putting in work. It must be hard to represent on the other side of the earth. Get your name out, but realize what it's worth. And show a little respect on who the fuck did it first. You can call me Sin City. I'm a fucking drug addict. And I've been gone for one year, but flip top, I'm back at it. What's up? Last round. Twizzy, it's on you. Sin City is a role model to a lot of you kids. These click be acting like they're so violent. But why look up to a drunk bastard and a drug addict with no talent? Unless you're from Canada, you don't know marijuana. I'm lighting up fatties while you're blazing skinnies. All you rap about is staying high and how you hate the government. You're an Asian hippie. <laughs> and I admit, I ain't the cleanest person either, but I ain't lying on these bars. Go ahead, have fun. Just don't let the substance define who you are. Which brings me to my next topic. Why look up to this young money wannabe with no personality? Swagger jacking US mainstream rappers, how is he a main factor? Lives here in the Philippines but can't even speak the language? That's embarrassing, I'm tearing him for all the kids here who try to be cool by sounding like an American. Yeah. Now don't get it twisted. I ain't saying English is wrong, that's silly. What I mean is don't try to be someone that you ain't, that's honest. I ain't beefing and shit. But see, Troy's, po Troy's the poster boy for poser boys. Don't believe in this bitch, come to think of it. You're probably the reason why JJ Mott even exists. <laughs> treated you like a rookie after plaz no one's buying them songs you told jed lee you'll put an end to the people's future guess you and the minds were wrong <laughs> you must be into fortune telling sin would make sense because that's a sin itself but of course sales but okay guess since you already lost three they all here to see your foretell think about that now think about this even today in north america racism and stereotypes exist there's still a few ignorant fucks saying we Filipinos don't know hip hop that we should stick to dancing because they saying we can't rap they saying originality is what we lack in fact they saying we just trying to be black well what they saying is whack I get respect for my music any project I'm a dope feature so forgive me if what I'm saying in closing don't please ya but the reason that I rap is to put an end to all them sayings like my name Lord Frieza boogie <laughs> time all right Flip top tectonics, really friggin' dope battle right there. Uh, judges' decision, 4-1. Winner of this match, Sin City. Yeah! Yo, Sin City, hot champ. Yo, shout out to Flip. He's flying all the way out here, man. Free Jimbo! Yo, free my man Jimbo, dude. Jimbo, yo! Jimbo! Busy! Yo, uh, it's Plasma. I voted for Sin. Yo, round one, gave it to Sin. It's off to his joke. Round two and three, gotta give it. Sin again, because I don't know, man. It's like Sin is, I don't know, it's, he's more straight to the point, you know. I mean, Twizzy got a few angles, cool, uh, a couple of dope angles, but I think Sin is so straight to the point that it gets harder. So, yeah, Sin Sin. Hey, Pop, uh, I'm the only one who voted for Twizzy uh, for the reasons uh, first round. Uh, despite of uh, the choke, uh, Tweezy's choke, I think he's more direct and his projection is more stronger than Sin City's. Uh, second round, I also gave it to, to Twizy uh, because the angles were more direct compared to uh, uh, Sin City. And last round, I gave it to Sin City because uh, the, the, the round is more powerful than uh, the material, the content is more powerful than uh, Twizy. So I gave it to Twizy overall. Nice. Bender play distance. Um, yeah, I think Twizzy really had the momentum going into it, and I think he would have took that round if it wasn't for that slip up. So I, I gave that round to, uh, to Sin. The second one was tough to call. Uh, since since third was like just beast mode, really broken down. It was like goosebump shit. So I definitely had to give it to Sin on that one. But yeah, close battle. I mean, both, both came with it. So yeah, it was really good. All right. The thing about judging battles is that there's no one best way to judge a battle. Some battles you judge like round by round, some battles you judge by momentum. I think this is one of those battles you judge by momentum. Um, the thing is like in the first round, uh, Twizzy was really getting at him. I think his, his first round was hitting really hard, like that much harder, but um, that stumble really cost him that momentum. And for the rest of like the next two rounds, Sin City kind of took it, took the momentum on to his side and his performance was just, you know, a little bit more cleaner. And um, his lines were hitting a little harder, so I get that to Sin City. What up, it's Sharon. Uh, Twizzy's my boy, you know, from King of the Dot. Uh, he did he did really well. I thought he was actually killing round one until he stumbled. Uh, I had to give it to Sin City. I just felt he was.
was actually saying more. Maybe like um, Twizzy's rhyme schemes and disses were a bit better, but I was just, you know, Sin City was just that much more believable, and his third round had so much momentum. So I gave to Sin City, but it actually was very close.